we begin tonight with a special report two years in the making. Good evening and thank you for joining us. It's garnered a lot of attention and comments from thousands on what many call a broken child protection agency in our state. Tonight, Rebecca Power's special report on Mississippi's Department of Human Services. Jeff, it's a landmark court case that rocked the Mississippi Department of Human Services to its core. It is a 2005 class action suit called Olivia Y. Years later, child advocates allege only a handful of the changes the court mandated have been made to DHS. As we look at the case, we want to warn you some of what you see and hear in this report may be disturbing and not appropriate for children. She was four and a half years old and she weighed about 17 and a half pounds. Director of Hope Haven's Children's Services, Terry Latham, was the first to bring little Olivia to a pediatrician. He says the doctor cried as she diagnosed Olivia with severe malnourishment and sexually transmitted diseases. And when the social worker dropped her off and they have to fill in the paperwork, all she put was petite and quiet. And in fact, this child had been almost starved to death. Latham says none of this was at the hands of her family. It happened in a foster home where she was left by DHS months before and forgotten. Latham says the foster mother had a registered sex offender boyfriend in the home and had been getting state money to keep the girl and only called DHS after Olivia got a very high fever and thought she was dying. The child had massive infections from just above her knee on up to her belly button. She had several types of internal infections. She was extremely scared. They could not put her in a bedroom. They tried to put her in, in, in our infant's bedroom, and she would not go. She immediately screamed and held on. Why? Because evidently she had been put in a darkened room and left there for for weeks and even months. We don't know how long. A New York-based national watchdog group learned of Olivia's plight and brought a class action suit against the state in 2004 that was settled before it went to trial. The judge ordered 104 practices within the DHS system must be changed. But Children's Rights Director Marsha Laurie says... Mississippi continues to fail its children. More than five years after a settlement agreement with Mississippi officials mandated top-to-bottom reform of its child welfare system, it is still failing to report data about the youth in its care. Terry Latham testified in the case that many children like Olivia are victims of what he calls a broken system with zero accountability. So she fell through the cracks? She fell through the cracks. Now again, DHS has had no comment like last night's story and Terry Latham, who deals with DHS daily at his nonprofit shelter in Hancock County, says that DHS in his county is one of the most understaffed and really overburdened places in the state. He says Hancock County has seen a stunning 300 percent increase in abuse and neglect cases since Hurricane Katrina in 2005. But he also had some encouraging news to share. And Jeff, that's the focus of tomorrow night's special report.